If you notice a very bright night sky this weekend, it is a super moon. Our Taylor Vincent tells you when you'll get your best shot at a close up of our celestial neighbor. That's what's really exciting, because it doesn't happen that often. Tim Hill at the Museum of Science and Industry eagerly awaits this weekend's supermoon when the moon passes by the Earth at its perigee, or closest point in the moon's orbit. Its orbit is not perfectly circular. It's kind of, kind of like an oval shape. So it, gets, uh, it has its closer points and its farther points. Now, this phenomenon is going to bring the moon about 16,000 miles closer to the Earth. But for some perspective, the moon will still be over 200,000 miles away. Factor in the exact position of the Earth and the sun on Sunday, and the unusual conditions create a supermoon. So it will definitely be the biggest, brightest moon you're going to see this year. Hill has specific suggestions for getting a super view of this special apparition here in the Bay Area. They're going to want to wake up on Sunday morning really early, uh, I would say about 5.30 in the morning, they're going to go outside and look to the west. They'll be able to see this big, beautiful, bright moon for themselves. Hill says the moon's closer gravity field creates slightly more substantial high and low tides, but none that typically cause major flooding. And if you don't want to wake up early, there's always the internet. I'm sure that there are going to be a plenty of people putting videos on YouTube and live streaming. In Tampa, Taylor Vinson, ABC Action News.